Welcome back to my channel. So if you guys want to learn how I did this La Llorona makeup tutorial, just stay tuned and keep on watching. Alright guys, so first I'm using this. Alright, so now that I finished putting concealer on, I'm going to go ahead and put use my Wet n Wild pomade and put this all over my face and eyes. Make sure to use a foundation buffer to really get that all over your face. Now I'm going to bring it down my neck as you can see. I really want to put it all over my body so it can get more of that scary effect. And now after I've applied the first coat, I'm going to be doing a second coat. So this is the second coat. I really really want to make it stand out that white and I'm really light so I felt like I needed to do this. Now I used flour. Yes, I'm putting flour on my face. <laughs> I know it might seem a little crazy, but if you don't have, I was going to use baby powder. So if you don't have baby powder, flour works just as good because you don't want to waste your Too Faced or high-end um, translucent powder on this. Nope, we're not doing that. So yes, flour is. After that, now I'm going to be brushing my eyebrows and I'm going to be using my Anastasia Black Eyeshadow and I'm using this to fill in my eyebrows. Now I just kind of followed my shape but I exaggerated it a little bit, I made them longer as you can see and I also made them a little bit more pointy. So you see, because the Yorona's hair is black so you want to make sure that your eyebrows match the hair so that's what I'm doing and really curving it at the top to make it a little bit more pointy so she can get that mad look which I think is just perfect for this look the higher the eyebrow the more angry she looks so I'm just darkening it up a little bit now I'm using this black creamer that I got at Spirit Halloween and I diluted it with some water and now I'm literally just putting drops of water on my face with the dilution because it creates that crying look, you know, she's been crying and also she drowned her kids in the lake so that's what's happening. Now I'm going to be using the black Anastasia eyeshadow and I'm just going to be putting this on the lids of my eyes now. As you can see I'm not going for that perfect look. I'm just pretty much just putting it all over my eyes because you want it to be kind of messy because it looks more scary. I feel like if you try to make it perfect it's not going to be as scary. So yeah I'm just darkening it up. Make sure you apply a good amount to make it dark. Now I'm going in with that black eyeshadow from Anastasia and I'm putting it under my eyelids. And for the thickness, I'm just doing like a medium, not too thick, not too thin. And now I'm going back with those water droplets and just putting more throughout my face. Like, I don't know, I just felt like I needed more of that effect of her crying and getting out of the um, lake and stuff so oh yeah I'm just putting more water droplets throughout my face don't worry if it gets a little messy this look is gonna get messy no matter what I just put a towel underneath um, in your lap and you'll be fine now I'm going in back with that flower and I'm really putting it just all over my face to dry out those um, water mar marks on my face and making them matte and this also creates a more like crackly effect 
on your face which is really good for this look because you want to look scary now i'm going back with that black eyeshadow and i'm using this to contour my and then i go in back with that powder with the flower and putting it all over my face because if you don't do that and you don't set it when you put the contour it's gonna smear the white paint off your face which as you can see kind of happened on my um cheekbone so i'm just making sure that it's all set now i'm going back in and really contouring that um temple now i'm going in with the other side as you can see this side went on really smoothly because now i made sure that my face was really set with that flower now going back to the other side and making sure they look pretty much kind of similar now you want to get that black eyeshadow and putting it on your forehead to get that contour. Now just remember that putting a little bit at a time works best because you don't want to get that harsh, harsh contour. You kind of want to get it soft in and looking kind of almost a little bit more natural. Now I'm putting some of that um, black eyeshadow on my lips. Now for the lips, you also don't want to get that perfect look. You don't need no lip liner or none of that stuff because you're just going for that a little bit more messy look. And I recommend getting some mouth makeup for this part because the eyeshadow does come off. So you'll see later on in the video that I um, put some of that mouth makeup. But now I'm going to contour my nose. But I'm making sure that it's set, like really set so that the white makeup doesn't smear when I do the contour. But I'm doing one straight line and then the other side I kind of do like a curvy type of line to get it more of that like thin crooked nose. So just put in a little bit at a time and then just blend it with a big fluffy brush and you'll pretty much get that look. So just go ahead and blend and you'll get it eventually. <laughs> Okay guys, so I pretty much did my lips already, I did my face and the eyes and the eyebrows and everything. So now, it's time for the fun part. Now, I have some black mouth paint. And I have some tooth paint. And hair color, because as you can see, my hair's not black anymore, so I gotta paint it. So... Let's get started. So for the tooth one, you really have to draw your tooth. But I do have this um, black mouth colorant. So let's try it. I don't know if you can eat it though. <laughs> let's check it out. Oh, this is so scary. OMG, do I look scary or what? Okay, we're out. Honestly, we're gonna try to put this in our mouth and see how it is. I don't know if I'll throw them out. Ugh, I don't think it was. I don't think it was for the mouth. Oh.
Well, this is part of the look. Now, let me go get my dress and then I'm gonna show you how I look after, okay? So stay tuned. Look at how scary I look. Like, what the fuck? I look so scary. Like, like if you saw me right now, you would be so scared, wouldn't you? Because I'm so scared right now. Like, what the fuck, dude? This is so scary. And look at my dress. Oh, hell no. Oh, let me put my little long sleeves out. This is so scary. Like, I cannot put myself. I love this look. Those cheekbones on. Girl. This is scary. <laughs> I am so scared of myself right now, but happy halloween guys hope you guys have a good one and please give this video a thumbs up i have so much fun doing this and let me know if you guys recreate this look see you next time on spiciness's channel